Hi and welcome to Beads Jar. My name's Billy and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this very adorable little girl's Liberty Ribbon headband. The products I'm going to use today for this little headband project is this beautiful Liberty Ribbon. I've got some pink elastic to go with it, two ribbon ends, two large hold metal beads and some Fevi-Quick glue to position the beads on the elastic. I've also got a pair of flat nose pliers, round nose pliers and scissors. You're going to start by cutting the length that you need in the ribbon. Now I've pre-cut mine but this will depend on the headband size you want. You want to position one end behind the ear, so the back of the ear, and cut all the way over the top of the head and down to the other side of the ear. The other addition I've done, which just to speed up this little tutorial, is that I've sewn this fabulous Swarovski star in the smoky colour. I've just sewed it in between the bias so that it's hidden and that's just going to add a little detail to the side of the headband. You could add more if you wanted along the top, but you don't want to go any lower than about three inch. So that's already attached for us. And now I'm going to pop my ribbon end on. The end is five millimeters and I'm actually going to fold the ribbon double by five millimeters as well, just to give these teeth a bit more of a grip to get hold of. I'm then going to put some glue onto the ribbon and slip it into the end and then use my pliers to attach that. So I've put the ribbon end on there and I'm going to use the flat nose pliers. I'm going to come across the top of the ribbon end and crush that flat. I'm then walking my pliers across the ribbon end to really make sure that's nice and secure. I'll then go to the other side where I'm going to do the same again. So remember to fold it and pop your glue on that as well. You'll allow some time for the glue to set um, but obviously for this demonstration I'll move straight on to our next part of the project. So I'm picking up the elastic. As this is just a guide you will need to take exact measurements for the headband size you want. So I'm probably going to use for this one as it's quite a small headband I'm making about 20 centimeters in total. So cut that away. And you're going to take your elastic through the loop on the ribbon end and across to the second one. And I'm going to add the large hold metal bead onto the elastic. So one side and the other. So they're going to sit next to our ribbons here. I then want to create a knot with my two elastics. So I'm getting the two ends together. And I'm going to pull that round and through to make a straightforward knot. And I'm pulling really tight on this knot, so stretching out the elastic. I'm going to take the excess thread above the knot off with my scissors. And we're back to putting some more glue. So what I'm now going to achieve is getting that knot to sit inside this metal bead. So I'm just going to push that in. You may want to use your round nose pliers to really push that into the bead. It'll make it easier for you. 
so that's hidden in there. And now I want to glue the knot inside that bead so it doesn't move around. So I've pulled my elastic taut and I'm just going to drop some glue into the hole. And you will allow, need to allow this one to set. So the glue's inside. There's a little bit that's come out, so I'm just gonna try not to get that all over the mat. And then again, on this side. Now there's no knot on this one, so you're just dropping the glue into the hole. And that will set and it'll stay positioned where you want it as soon as the Febby Quick's dried up. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial and we look forward to seeing you for the next one. If you subscribe now, you'll get all of the latest designs straight to you first. Until then, bye.